YouTube, what's up, y'all? Man, I know it's been a minute. I know y'all probably wonder where I've been at. I haven't done a video in a month. Longest time I have not ever done a video. And, you know, I'm working on some new content right now, but kind of want to update you guys on, you know, just what I've been what I've been up to, what I've been going through for the past month. The last video I did was on my, uh, oh, it was on the Universal Blue Air Max Ones. Check it out if you hey, I haven't seen the video yet, man. The dope review on that shoe. But I ain't dropped a video in about a month. And, you know, thing is, that's what's going on right now, which currently, I don't know what I'm going to actually title this video, but pretty much, honestly, man, I've just been hella busy with my personal life, to be real. You know, um, you know, work, I still work a job. You know, I don't make money on YouTube, so... You know, I still have to, you know, put time into my job and then put in as much time I can to, you know, my craftsmanship on, you know, my channel to grow uh, my channel and, and to grow my audience. And I do warehouse work. So around the holiday time, you know, we work in like a lot of hours, uh, overtime, be killing, money good, but we work a lot of hours. And to be honest, man, like I just really haven't felt like making any videos like i'm just gonna be completely honest like you know uh, i'm working like almost six hours a week it's crazy man like you know you really need that one day to rest and but i'm glad to say that it's over don't gotta do that no more so i will be back to releasing new content i'll work on a video right now as we speak but i want to drop this one first a little update but it really just got me thinking like you know about time and like you know you know the importance of like time and you know i haven't done a video in about a month and that's 30 ish days time that i won't get back you get what i'm saying and me putting this time into a job where you know it's at, at the at the end of the day i'm only i can only go so far up i'm going to eventually cap at a job but with this right here there's no cap you pretty much you you pretty much invest in yourself and you you just flourish you flourish as much as you can you get what i'm saying and it's like i was just thinking dang man like that's a month of content that i have not uploaded you know i could have gotten you know, new subscribers in that month or, you know, that one video that could have possibly blew, you know, could have really done something to my channel. And, you know, and it's just like, dang, I just hate the fact that, I don't know, man, just the fact of having to, you know, really rely on a job and not to say that jobs aren't, I'm not saying that jobs aren't something that you, you shouldn't have a job. Everybody should have a job starting out. Everybody should use a job because at the end of the day, we all got responsibilities and you need a job to pay your bills, right? But at the same time, we should all develop in something that's outside the jobs. So that way we can just, you know, grow within ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like putting some money aside to like some small business or skill. That way, you know, in a job like where I work at or just any job that requires more time out of you, you know, cause you don't want to live like, you don't want to live like that forever, man. You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, live with the, with the thought of, you know, one day you can get fired or, you know, your job call you in to work, you know, an OT and you have to do it unless you're pretty much going to get fired. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, like, you don't want to have to live like that. You get what I'm saying? It don't matter to me if this is one, one time of the year. So... I really highly advise everybody, anyone to have some type of, or try to find the, you know, the motivation or the inspiration to start something, monetize your skills, take advantage of this age that we live in, this, this, this social media age, just this age of monet, uh, monetization. You know, there's people out in like New York making money off of doing silly stuff dancing in the street you know what i'm saying like <laughs> just doing whatever they're doing juggling stuff you know what i'm saying like you know 
I'm sure that there's something that you guys are that, that, that there's something that you guys have that you can monetize and say just go for it man you know what I'm saying just go for it but as far as shoes go you know I haven't really caught any shoes like that for real because a lot of shoes been going on sale and then at the same time it's like you know like you know I want to let y'all guys you know understand something about me is that you know I'm not just a a sneaker tuber you get what I'm saying like there's more to me than just doing sneakers I'm I do fashion you know if you don't know I put in there one of my videos I have a podcast it's called the road to greatness podcast where me and my partner we talk about you know financial literacy you know tips and keys to success you know how to run your business smoothly like we talk about mental health too you know there's more to me than just you know sneakers and clothes and everything and a lot of these shoes that have been coming out you know i'm not in a big rush to get them because they're sitting and they're not they're not they're, they're they're not going nowhere like the fear threes i can cop the fear threes for 145 right now if i wanted to but i could have got on release date but why not just wait it's not going nowhere you know it's like it's like it's like with these uh with those air max 2.0s the chili red i believe i seen that shoe sitting like pretty much since the time it came out like what march uh april ish that shoe just been sitting 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 but i knew that that shoe was not going nowhere i knew it wasn't going nowhere now that shoe on sale is 70 dollars literally air jordan one royal reimagines that shoe right there i just got a tweet from solix i believe that shoe was on sale for a hundred dollars on nike.com right now if it hasn't sold out now a hundred dollars you get what i'm saying a hundred bucks we live in a new age of sneakers no longer do you have to treat sneakers like it's the year 2020 and 2021 we are back in the new age of sneakers to where you don't have to just go out and run and get the shoe on release date a lot of people they spot a lot of people back then since the shoe was guaranteed to sell out, even like a regular GR shoe, they 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 went and hurried and they rapidly tried to get you know those shoes that were coming out because they knew it was gonna sell. It didn't matter what shoe it was. The Air Jordan 13 Wheats on sale for 160 right now. Black toe Jordan One uh, Low Black toes. I keep seeing that shoe on sale for like ninety dollars. The University Red Jordan One Lows on sale seventy dollars half off you know what i'm saying so these are dope shoes think about it as they keep dropping shoes like they drop like four shoes in like less than two weeks so you know you really can't just buy them all now if you got it like that cool and i'm not saying that you know you can't go buy a shoe on the release date if, if you like the shoe enough and you don't want you don't feel like waiting for it going on sale by all means, copy it. Like my the uh the Air Air Max ones I did a review on, that shoe on sale right now. But I just went ahead and copped it. You know what I'm saying? Just because you know I really like it. You know, and I just want to buy it now. But keep in mind, there's a big difference between a retail price of 140 versus a retail price of 210 dollars before tax. There's a big difference. So if I see a pair of Adidas Sambas, or if I see some some New Balance 550s or 650 R's or, or something like that. A shoe that costs 100 to maybe like $140. You know, I'm more willing to spontaneously spend all my money on that shoe, even if it might end up going on sale. You get what I'm saying? There's a big difference between prices. So, you know, now I have been buying some, some I bought some clothes, so, you know, I'm doing more fashion videos. Uh, those will come your way. 2024 is looking really, really exciting as far as, the, you know, the sneakers coming out. I'm dropping a bit on that too. Um, but yeah, man, that, that's just pretty much it. Yeah, I'm Like I said, to be honest, I really want to drop this first before I start dropping my videos again. 
um, man, I've really been busy, man. Like my job really took a lot of time out of me. And it was just like, after it was over, I was like, dang, man, that's a whole month of content that I did not do. And not even that, like, you know, I'm into fitness. I haven't been to the gym like how I really want to. I really haven't not... I really have not been able to do the things that I truly wanted to do or that I truly want to do or that I currently do. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to spend more time on that side. And like I said, it got me thinking like, man, I can't keep doing this forever. I just can't keep doing this forever. Like my, I don't want to work a job forever. You know, like I, I don't plan on working a job for the rest of my life. I don't plan on doing that at all. My goal is strictly investment, passive income, and making money doing things that I love to do. And to me, a job ain't nothing but a tool, you know? It's a tool, you use it. They're gonna use you anyways, use them. That's what a job is. They pay you to solve a solution. They don't care if you work hard. They want it to be done. Some jobs don't even pay you extra money if you work hard. At the end of the day, they want a problem to be solved. And that's where you come in. It's a tool. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But it's just the truth. It is what it is. Me, my goal is not to work at a job forever. My goal is creating a foundation within myself. Generational wealth. That's my goal. But, yeah, guys. I just want to drop that on you guys. More videos are coming. Sorry I've been gone for a while, but I am back. I got more stuff coming along y'all's way. And just stay tuned for more videos. And I'm going to see y'all guys in the next one.